In this quick tutorial, we'll cover how you can add the glass morphism effect to a card component in Figma. And to be honest, you can add it to anything really. It doesn't have to be just cards. Now let's waste no more time and jump straight in. Creating glass morphism in Figma is really about two or three things. The first thing is to create a background and a background that has a lot of color, that is maybe pattern, that just looks interesting. The second thing being glassifying an object, the thing that you want to have the glass morphism effect that you put on top of the background. And the third thing, which is an optional, but this really adds that little flair to it, which is to add a texture of some sort or some details. Let's jump to the first one. Like I've said here, the effect is amplified by having colorful objects in the background. So here I have this card that has a very nice looking image. So we take that, we move over to the second step, which is actually glassifying stuff. So here I have the final result. You can see how it looks. You see the background, it has this glass effect. Four things here that we need to remember. Background blur, drop shadow, linear gradients, and opacity. Let me show you how it works. I'll go to this card. I'll target the background of the card here. The first thing is to add a linear gradient. So I add the linear gradient to the card background like this. Then we'll add the same thing to the stroke. So I'll add a linear gradient to this stroke and I'll actually flip it so that it covers the opposite side. So the faded out version or the faded out end is in the top for the stroke and for the background, it's the opposite. It's in the bottom. I'll change the opacity for this one as well, maybe to 50%. And for this one, I'll go maybe 50% here as well. That's something you'll have to play around with. After that, we'll add a background blur to the card background once again. I'll add an effect, hit background blur, I'll bump it up. And this is also going for what you think looks the best. So maybe something like 12, and then we'll add a drop shadow. And here we also will play around to see what looks the best, bump up the blur a bit. So that's really how easy it is to create this effect. Now let's jump over here and see what we can do to add some more detail. What you can do is you search for noise or texture in the Figma community and you just grab something that you think looks good. I found this one, looks like a bunch of ants just having a war. Find something like that and then you can add it to your layout and get this kind of result. So I'll target this, I'll go to the fill here, I'll target so that I get this blue indicator, then I'll hit Command C or Control C on Windows, then I'll go over here and I'll paste it on top and then I'll just play with the opacity. So maybe 20%. Now, if you like effects like these, check out this video as well. Until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon and ciao.